Michael Bublé is back in a big way. The Canadian crooner has put a surprising new spin on Sway, the song famously covered 20 years ago. Yeah, the new version is called Spicy Margarita and I caught up with the megastar. Natalie? Yeah? Is that gigantic beauty light behind you? What is going on with that? Does that make I you extra beautiful? And why, where's I, my... Where's yours? I don't, I'm so ugly, I don't know. <laughs> you I don't, don't have, have a beauty light. I have a laptop put on top of a, a piece of chunk furniture that I just put down so that it would be tall enough. But you're Michael Bublé. Don't you just get to have whatever you ask for? I am no Ed Sheeran, let me tell you that. <laughs> you my spicy margarita, baby. <laughs> He's a megastar in his own right, but with Spicy Margarita, we get two music icons for the price of one. Michael Bublé and Jason Derulo have teamed up for a fiery new track with a very familiar sound. Michael is so excited about it, he's taken time out from his holiday in Hawaii to chat to Sunrise. I brought my family to a tropical, a beautiful tropical destination. I told my wife, you know what, Lou? No telephone no devices, just me, my undivided attention. I have to do some interviews. I'll see you later. Wait, 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 wait. You're on holidays. You've mm -hmm. left your wife and kids for sunrise. Of course I have, and you deserve it. And you know what, sunrise has <laughs> always been good to me. You're my spicy margarita, babe. The new song is going viral on TikTok with the longtime friends hamming it up for their combined 61 million followers. You spelled it wrong. Come on, Mike. We're idiots and we laugh our asses off doing all of this stuff. So it's been, it's been way too much fun. I know what my lane is. I know that I'm an interpreter of the Great American Songbook. I know that I stand on the shoulders of so many of my heroes like Frank and Dean. And, uh, and I get it. I get that's where I live. And I love living there. But it's so much fun to take off and sort of swim in these other places. He was like the 54th big, 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 gigantic star that had called me and said, I know what we should do we should do a Christmas song. And I was like, no, <laughs> I own that. And I don't need to do that anymore. Like yeah. I say to him, I love you brother, but it doesn't help me in any way. I, my record, that 12 year old record, a 13 year record, it keeps going number one. And I'm not, uh, you know, I love Christmas. Like, trust me, I love Christmas. But I was like, dude, and then I got, I got like, I got grumpy with him. But what I didn't know is I had crushed Jason in that conversation. Like oh. he, it hurt him. He, he didn't, you know, he thought I was going to go, yeah, let's do a Christmas thing. And I was, and I didn't, You're like, no. but it also, but it also inspired him because like not two days later, he called me in the morning and he goes, Buble, I have, I have something that I think is going to, I think I have an idea. You know, I'll show up in the morning and I'll bring you spicy margaritas. Thank you. I can't, I don't know what's going to happen, but I, it'll be fun. He's always fun, isn't he? He's so cool. Yeah. Like Urban Dictionary, Riz, picture of Michael Bublé. Oh, yeah. Don't you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Love him.